So I've noticed you using the the V pots to control the sends. Can I use the faders as well? You can. So if I press the flip mode button, now all of the faders that were previously set to control the DAW fader positions are now controlling that particular send level. Um, we have several options that can flip the scribble strip to show you either the send name or the exact send level that you're sending out. Um, and now my faders are controlling DAW sends. And again, I can access multiple sends from different channels by toggling through using the faders to control all of that level. What if I want to use this on a plugin? Can I do that? You can, yeah. So the flip mode can work on pans or it can work on sends. But of course, if I go to plugin mode, now of course you can use the V pots as well. Um, but I can also pull up a channels plugin. And uh, with the with Logic, we have the channel EQ, which has eight available parameters. And I can spread those parameters over the faders or over the V pots. So I can adjust the, the bandwidth of certain bands. I can adjust the frequency using the faders in the middle or the gains using the, the first eight faders. Okay, so if I want to do a filter sweep, for example, on the fly, I can do that with a fader really smoothly. I can also write the automation at the same time. Yeah, so any moves I make on the hardware are reflected in the DAW and vice versa. So you can use that just to finesse a plugin, for example, um, like we just did with an EQ sweep. Or if you wanted to automate something, you can just write that in very simply from the console surface.